Delhi in the 1860s. So this is a tomb, much like the Taj Mahal, really, isn't it? Pretty similar construction. And, you know, we hear this in Egypt. They tell us pyramids are for tombs. You know, all these major, all this work just to put a dead dude in. This is Delhi in, this is 1910, this one. Uh, but look at this walled, walled city, right? Again, this is looking, you know, kind of what we would call Moorish, you know, with the... Uh, the point there on the arch but as you can see this is a built-out city this it looks looking pretty dilapidated you know we can see these big spires popping out in the background but these are all two-story buildings as well so it you know there's a lot more in here than it's not just slums it looks like it's it's old world buildings that are just fallen into disrepair Again, this is all looking very more. This is another thing we see with, you know, the Moorish kind of architecture is all these columns um, holding up roofs. So I'm not sure what these were for. Um, but, but, you know, these might have just been holding tanks for water because you find a lot of these underground. This one clearly isn't because it's above ground and there's holes all through the wall. But, I mean, look at this ceiling. It's a bit, bit hard to see in this photo, but... I mean, how, how would you even design that, let alone, you know, carry it out and build it? It's just crazy. All right, this is the college building in Delhi. This is um, damaged by the Indian mutiny of 1857. Wow, man, they were angry. They've even ripped, ripped a bit of the roof down here. But, you know, Greco, Romano, anyone? This is India. This building here has nothing to do with with the story we're told of what was going on in India. And what's that? That looks Egyptian. I mean, I see it very well, but it, it does, doesn't it, from a distance. And here we have two of the locals. And this is what we get, right? These locals who clearly don't have the, the knowledge to build Something like this. I mean, and this thing's just been destroyed. I wonder why. And they love these wars and revolts, don't they? To, and just to destroy the old world architecture. Then they come along and say, oh, well, now it's unsafe and they bulldoze it. The Delhi Dubar procession with elephants. Here we have the elephants. This, this is actually the Red Fort, I'm pretty sure. What's called the Red Fort, this, this big building here. I've um, got a procession. We've got bells up there. No, can't see any domes. Um, and again, this is what we find all across the realm is these buildings. This is a star fort, basically. You know, slightly different facade, but, you know, the same basic construction. And, of course, they did all this with elephants, apparently, because, you know, there's there's no technology here few street lines looks like they had trams yeah look tram tracks interesting more elephants um this is the same procession and elephants are interesting aren't they apart from the fact that you know <laughs> they're pretty interesting to look at you know we have this thing of african elephants and asian elephants but nothing in the middle right and and they i mean yeah, I haven't even really looked into the story of that split, but, you know, clearly there were elephants everywhere and they've just been wiped out. This is not the best picture, sorry. This is architecture at the River Ganges, 1870. And again, you know, this massive, like, car this is a castle, massive castle in the background. Look at this bit of tech here. And these are the people living there. And, you know, everything here is just wood. You know, a few umbrellas, you know, they clearly didn't build this. That's a cool castle. These are the people. 1863. And this is their tech. So these guys, um, they're dying clothes. Right? So this is, you know, the level of tech they had. And this is their workspace and their tools. 
But look at the building they're standing in. Look at this massive masonry, cement maybe, geopolymer maybe base. This huge, intricate building, and that this is the level of tech they've got. So what happened? You know, they don't talk about this fall that clearly happened at some point. Uh, this is 1880s, the Hawa Mahai in Jaipur, 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 how do I say that? Um, Rajasthan, let's say that one. Uh, again, sorry, th these are old photos, so not the best. Um, but you can see how intricate this thing, this building is, just completely covered. But but looking old and a bit dilapidated as well. And at the front here, we have the level of tech that they've got, right? Four posts and a piece of cloth over the top for their shop in front of this. And we, we see this juxtaposition everywhere in these old world photos. I mean, look how old this looks. It's just in ruins. Looks like it, you know, probably goes down a bit un under the ground. And again, we just have these people in the in the foreground who, you know, look like they're saying, "Wow, who built that?" And of course, looks like it's made out of brick, red brick, Imperial Hotel. So I'm not sure the date in this one, horse and cart, probably 1880s or 90s. And people now enjoying these buildings being cleaned up a bit and turned into, you know, businesses, right? No doubt that you have to rent. Uh, oh, so this is 1947, we're jumping forward a bit. I've, got, I've put this one in just because, look at this cathedral. You know, cathedral tower in the background, that looks like a huge bell, like a, a cylindrical bell. But, you know, this is a cathedral, right? That, you know, that shot there, you could say it was in England or, you know, Europe. But this is, again, this is India. So that's, you know, that is the, the type of cathedral we see everywhere. Just on the streets of New Delhi, Chadney Chawak in New Delhi. I'm getting good at pronouncing these words. Diwan e Kas fought in Delhi. Again, looking what we would call Moorish, but look at the, the work here. And when you look at, you know, just the artwork, it really is pretty similar to the artwork we see throughout Europe and so-called Western countries, you know, with the flower and the sort of native motifs and the spirals. You know, it's all very similar, isn't it, really? But I mean, look at these ceilings, just to go to that work. You know, what? why is that? Is that frequency? You know, is that something to do with the sound and, I don't know, resonance or doing something to it? Who knows? But all this stuff is done for a reason. Jama Masjid in Delhi, 1860s. And again, right, this is what we see everywhere, this destroyed world, this mud flooded world with these amazing old buildings in the background. And this again, this is like a star fort. And really the only difference is the domes are more onion shaped, you know, like there's just a few cultural, shall we say, differences, but it's the same structure that we see, you know, in the Americas, in Europe, in Africa, even in Australia. Nothing this big in Australia, they've all been destroyed, but, you know, we've got the remnants. And again, right, these people, the inhabitants, just clearly have lost the knowledge of how this was built. Another one. Now, same scenario. We've got the, the canals here, empty pretty much, totally overgrown. Looks like a few rocks thrown at this. Wow, this has just been completely attacked. I mean, this looks like it's had cannons or something thrown at it, whatever they were using. Who knows if cannons were even real back then. But it hasn't really, it hasn't damaged the structure, has it? And again, this is all brick. Huge gates here. And massive dome in the background with an antenna on it. This is Lahore Gate in Delhi, 1857. So again, this is, I'm pretty sure this is the Red Fort. If not, it looks 
to, you know, very similar. So that that's just the kind of architecture, but that's what it looks like. And this is, what is it? It's just as a whole gate, oh, camel gun encampment. So I guess that's maybe a military branch, the camel guns. But again, right, they've got this big, you know, what they tell us is a fort in the background and they, they're around here with their little tent. Something a bit strange. This is what they were building, massive constructions of masonry, and then someone's come along and put a little wooden, little wooden veranda there for us. And what's this? Looks like some kind of vent or something. Who knows? Part of the old tech. Uh, the marble throne in Delhi. Uh, don't know. is that this whole thing? Maybe it doesn't look like a chair, but there you go, the marble throne made out of marble. And that's the other thing is the stone. They're always made out of specific stones, right? That's part of the tech. And these columns looking a bit Grecian, you know, stylized. But as you can see, it's still got these sort of nature-like motifs around it that we see everywhere. You know, just just stylized a bit. This is the Mughal Emperor Humayun's tomb in Delhi in the 1860s. So this is a tomb, much like the Taj Mahal, really, isn't it? Pretty similar construction. And, you know, we hear this in Egypt. They tell us pyramids are for tombs. You know, all these major, all this work just to put a dead dude in. Doesn't, doesn't seem... You know, like the story, especially when this has got a huge, you know, antiquitena, shall we call it, antiquitech antenna on the top. Got all the domes around the outside. We've got our mercury balls. You know, this is some kind of power station, I would think. And just, again, you know, <laughs> look at the surrounds. Naka or Nabat Kana. Ah, Red Fort, that, that case. So they're calling this the Red Fort this time. So this is the Red Fort. As you can see, big, it's, it's huge, this thing. Big walled city, basically, with a star fort. And here we have the inhabitants. Clearly, something's going on here. Look at this one. And this is another tomb. Another tomb in Delhi, of course. And all the time, right, we get this um you know centerpiece you know it's either a dome or a spire or something with an antenna on it and four around the outside you see it everywhere so is this depicting the realm we're in the tree of life the mount maru the the rupus nigra in the middle the black rock and then as martin calls them, right the four angels around the around the side around the on the corners is that something to do with the free energy setup? Because this all looks like it was just mimicking nature, right? The natural energies. And here we have four Delhi bankers. All right. They don't look like the Indians in the rest of the photos, do they? Were these just picked from the street and, and turned into bankers or were these part of the old realm? I don't know, but whatever they've done, even though this looks like a completely set up photo, right? Completely set up. Um, but clearly you can see that some people were given positions of wealth, shall we say. And most of the others just had to live in squalor and do this, make pots all day. Uh, this is, so this is later, this is 1931, but still this is like 70 years later than the other photos where they were dyeing the shirts and that, and still the same level of tech, just working with his hands. I mean, he's good. Look at the stuff he's making. But, you know, no tech. Uh, that, that tech doesn't build this building that he's sitting in. This is 1880. This is the Great Arch. I guess this is it. It's not so great anymore, is it? Um, it's kind of fallen apart. As you can see, it used to be cool. We've got our pillars out the front here. And, of course, in the background, I mean, and look at the work going into this tower, right? 
these are angled like triangles and these are rounded off and it's all perfectly symmetrical and then up here they're like no no more triangles let's just go round of course we've got our little veranda here or maybe docking bays right for airships maybe because i mean you look at that and now what does that look like like a lighthouse right <laughs> what were lighthouses but look these have all got decks on the way up so what are these and what are they for airports you know we'll probably be told it was a viewing tower or something and it might be we just don't know but i mean that's made of stone that's pretty impressive, especially these balconies, you know, like just jutting out, right? Very cool stuff. Um, this is 1857 rear view of the Jemmy Masjid, which is clearly this thing, I guess. Got our towers, our belfries, onion domes everywhere, massive building. And then down here, you know, we get these. I mean, I don't know, they could be masonry buildings, smaller ones, but clearly, you know, we've just got like cloth, you know, veranda type roofs here. Looks like someone here with a little wooden rack. So again, you know, this scene and the, this tech doesn't match this, which is, you know, pretty much what I talk about a lot here on this channel. Ruins of the Gahib, oh, sorry, Gaib Observatory. Again, like what happened here, right? This has been destroyed. This looks like sandbags. So I don't know if that sandbags or if that's hard, but that <laughs> if that's hard, then that's definitely how they laid the chair polymer, right? Um, but look at this. Again, you know, Greco-Romano columns, you know, what we're told is Greco-Romano, but this place has been destroyed. You can see how nice it was. And... You know, this looks like it's been blown up, doesn't it? Doesn't look melted or anything. It just looks destroyed. So what did that? Um, oh, this is a snake charmer. And of course, in the background, we have one of the controllers by the looks of it. But yes, there you go. That snake thinks that he is, is charming. Uh, St. James Church in Delhi showing damage caused by the mutiny fighting in 1858. So I'm going to have to look into this mutiny, I think. But here we go. The, the mutiny caused this. Because this is what you do, right? When you have a mutiny, you go and attack all the buildings in, in your local area that you could use. You go and destroy them. Clearly. Uh, this one has already been got to. <laughs> Or is that just an antenna that they just took for their symbol? Uh, mercury ball, got the resonator here. Got our portals, porthole windows. And yeah, it's been smashed up. And again, right? Like, I mean, look at that. How Greco-Romano is that? And this is, it, it's hard to see, but it looks like this is just branches and bits of wood. And is, is that the repair job? I don't know, but... Again, right, this is the level of tech. You know, they clearly couldn't build this. Okay, now we have um, the mogul of Delhi with his children again, completely set up photo. But, you know, back then, obviously, this is what they did with photos. So it could be him. So this is, you know, what happened to him and his family. Clearly, they're saying that he was some kind of ruler or, you know, native you know, emperor or something, mogul. And, yeah, not looking too happy. Neither are the kids, really. They're looking, they're looking pretty bored. <laughs> this guy's just like, what? Why have I got this silly hat on? Uh, oh, here we go. Stairway to heaven. Uh, the Jantar Mantar Observatory. Oh, this is that same place. So this has just been destroyed. This guy's going up the stairway to heaven. He's doing it. Is that a door at the top? It seriously looks like a door at the top. Um, and this, I mean, this this looks, I mean, it could be real. It's just a real contrast to the background, isn't it? I don't know if the background's been whited out. 
vanilla sky. Look at this. I mean, what is that? Oh, is, okay, is that the top of a building or is that a stairway going up? Because down here it looks like a building that's fallen over sideways. But it, whatever, like destruction, right? Look at these piles of bricks. Just whatever was here got completely destroyed. And 1858, so this is around that date, so they'll probably say this is the rebellion. Like What, they came and took apart a building brick by brick. And these are the silly stories we get. Uh, this is 1875, the Juma Jemi <laughs> Mosjid in Delhi. And, I mean, this one survived, right? Very cool. This is. Uh, did we look at this one before? M maybe we saw the building, but different photo. Don't know. Don't know what these these things are. Some kind of. I don't know. Well or something. But again, this huge, massive construction. These are the people. Right, so completely oversized and just dirt roads. Dirt roads everywhere. Another one. 1872. I mean, it looks like they've just been hit by rockets. Doesn't it? They just have been blown apart. And this is a the thing. These are the ruins. Right? And look how old this looks. And this is 150 years ago. You know, but we have these same buildings all over India. Um, and I'm sure some of them were told were built around the 1800s, right? Because this clearly was built a long, long time ago. But it's the same architecture. Uh, and this is another tomb. And again, right, very Taj Mahali. And look on this massive platform, you know, probably, I don't know, is there something under there? They've got a big, this was probably fountains, I would think. Fountains and a pool. And the Lone Guard. All right, this is the <laughs> Tugala Kabad Fort in Delhi in the 1870s. And again, just destroyed. And you can see the amount of bricks that would have gone into just this little portion of this one of, you know, this one of thousands of forts across the room, just this little bit. Like, look at the amount of bricks in here. Like, you can see this, this is, look how thick these walls are. How was this constructed? Because, I mean, if, if, if these were laid by hand, I mean, that is just so much work, even with tech. You know, unless, of course, you had some kind of bricklaying machine. It's, it's like um, Fort Jefferson of Florida. It's got 60 million bricks. You know, how long would that take to lay, apart from the fact that it's in the middle of the ocean? But uh, back to India, right? Um, the Yamuna, River Yamuna, the Red Fort again. So you can see this used to be... A river so clearly the, something's happened with the water levels or the, at least the, the water system got our bridge here and the massive fort in the background I mean just look at all this massive construction and again right the locals 1860s Delhi this is from the red fort there's not many people in these photos there's a couple here but that's a big spread, right? That's almost wall to wall, sort of two, three story buildings. And there's not that many people around. There's a couple here in the foreground. So there you go, Delhi in the 1860s. This is again, Delhi 1857. So you can see this is just all built up, but it's all it's all masonry buildings, you know, and you look in, we've got our little triangles that we see everywhere on the porticos. We've got the same kind of balustrading. Um, got the little orbs here, like the mercury orbs. So this is all got the features of old world buildings. And these are the people. So big doors, right, big windows. So this is all built out. So... You know, were the, I don't know, were these the houses that people were living in and they just got destroyed in most cities? Because there's a lot of these in, in these photos in Delhi. But but clearly these are all, you know, this is 
two stories and a bit. So these are all at least, you know, there's taller ones, two, three story brick buildings everywhere. And again, these people, you know, don't seem to have the, the knowledge to build these. This is a pole. Um, okay, this is the Iron Pillar, 1872. Looks like it had a bit of melt maybe at the bottom there. But this is iron. This is 1872. This is still standing and it doesn't rust. It doesn't get rust on it. So this is one of the another one of the old world alloys, right? Um, and we see this in, in like the balustrading, you know, the that um, iron work for fencing and stuff that's everywhere. It's normally painted black, but that stuff doesn't rust either. So this is, again, they, they knew a lot about metallurgy that has either been lost or, or taken from us. I think that's the last picture. So there we go. That was old world India. Remember in the end, nobody wins unless everybody wins. Come on! Oh,